I'm watching Cody and Kelsey right now. Oh. Let's make sure the hair is good because in every video I'm like, what did I do? Bum, ba -da 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 -dum. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Amanda and today we're going to be talking about how to come up with your sustained investigation question. If you're feeling stuck or worried that you're not going to come up with a question that you're going to sustain throughout all of this time, um, throughout a year or two years, depending on however long your course is, then I am here to give you some advice on that. Let me just start by saying that I was exactly in the position that you are in. I was very worried to start my sustained investigation because my um, AP 2D design and AP drawing course are both two years. So that is a longer time that you have to sustain this investigation and you have to continue to be interested in it and make art about this specific topic. So it was hard for me to come up with something that I really liked. So, as I said previously, I took both an AP 2D design course and an AP drawing course. Both of these courses were two years long, so I started the process coming up with my sustained investigation question around two years ago, maybe a little bit more than that, like sophomore year summer-ish. And let me first list some of the ways that I tried to come up with a question. I first started trying using a mind map or just like note-taking. I guess like the best way I can describe it is I just took a piece of paper and started writing down a bunch of topics that I like and kind of branching off of that and um, becoming more specific and making different pieces off of that. So I would basically sketch little things here and there trying to figure out what pieces I would do for that topic if I did a sustained investigation for that interest of mine. Another thing I did was look at other people's questions. That is not something that you can't do. You can look at other people for inspiration. Um, I wouldn't suggest using exactly something that other people do because when you do that, it tends to be unoriginal and that's really what College Board is looking for. They want you to be personal and they want your topic to be something that's very special to you. So yeah, I would make a list of a bunch of questions that I found on the internet that I had interest in and then I would take those questions and make them more specific to my life. I also talked to my art teacher and you should do this as well. They are there to help you in this process and to guide you on your you know, journey with your investigation. So those of you who don't know and haven't seen my past video about my um, AP portfolio, which, you know, there's a ton of them, but my sustaining investigation question for AP art uh, was what do outcasts feel or look like in society? And then my sustaining investigation question for AP 2D design was how do we struggle with our own race? So let me give you a bit of a background on both of my questions so you guys know what to look for in yourselves when you're coming up with something like this. For my portfolio on outcasts, I was focusing on this time of my life where I was being bullied by my friends at school. This is kind of a, a basic kid topic and I know a lot of people get bullied in high school. So I didn't want to just like focus it in on that event. But I did some pieces about that and I also did some pieces revolving around other people and how they feel excluded in their communities. For example, and I'm leaning over because I'm going to put it right here, I did a piece called Portia Control that revolves around elderly people in the LGBTQ plus community. I did pieces on being plus size, I did pieces on being homeless, I did a lot of different topics and this is mostly because I chose a very general thing. I chose something that I could make personal myself and something that I could apply to other people. So as for my AP 2D design portfolio, portfolio. For those of you who don't know, because my school like explains it weird, it's kind of a photo slash graphic design portfolio. For this question, how do we struggle with our own race? I started exploring deeply into my investigation in senior year when I was going to BLM protests in March. So as for the steps that go with you coming up with your question, here is what I would suggest. First of all, make a list of things that you like or do a mind map if that's easier for you. Whatever works for you, just have something. Uh, where you can put down on paper what you like. I would 
pull a few different things from a few different places. If you like taking pictures of landscapes or drawing landscapes, then I would consider that. If you like taking pictures or drawing portraits, I would consider that. I would mix an art element and an element of interest and try to make that into a question. For example, if you like sports and you like texture, like tactile things, then maybe your question would be something like, how can I show my baseball games through tactile design or whatever. Try to mix elements of interest so you have a less specific topic that you have to do. That leads me into my other thing is the fine line between too general and too specific is very thin with the college board. You wanna make sure that your question is general enough so you can make 15 pieces, but you also wanna make sure that it's not too specific to the point where you can't make 15 pieces for reasons of losing interest or you just didn't plan out the pieces beforehand like a lot of people actually do. So just try to think about something that like you enjoy, that you're going to be okay with sustaining for a long time. My course is two years and most courses are one year. So it's not as long for you guys, but it's still some time that you have to continue to be interested in this topic. Another thing that I'm going to say is tap into like Another thing that I would suggest is to tap into like a weird side of yourself that's kind of personal and deep. I can understand why it may be weird to share some of your artwork with your classmates, but at the end of the day, the college board really likes to see that personal like scope and side of you that not many other people get to see. Or if you just have like a weird interest, like make sure to explore that as much or if you just have like a weird interest, make sure to explore that as much as possible and try to make art surrounding that. And my last piece of advice is please, 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 please have a few ideas going in. And by a few, I mean like at least seven pieces, like executed, sketched, like color scheme ready, like know what you're going to do before you do it. It's gonna make it easier to move on and to continue your journey after those seven pieces are done, but just have this stuff planned out beforehand. If you can't come up with seven pieces, change your question. It's not worth it if you can't come up with at least seven. So that's all. I hope that this video helped, and if you guys have any questions, seriously, comments down below. I'm constantly down there answering your guys' questions. Don't be embarrassed. No question is a stupid question. Leave it down in the comments below. Make sure to like this video and subscribe. Turn on post notifications so you get a notification every time that I post. I should be posting on Mondays. Doesn't mean I will. So turn on post notifications so you know. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.